Have you been thinking of being an author, a collaborative author, or want to be an author again? You're going to want to listen up to this three-part series where I'm going to cover all of that and more. Today's episode is going to be about the three ways you'll get left behind by not being an author. Hello, lovely dynamic women, and welcome to the Dynamic Women podcast. This is Diane Rolston, your host. And yeah, today I'm going to talk about the three ways you'll get left behind by not being an author. There are going to be two more episodes following this that are also going to cover what to look for in collaborative book opportunities and the five reasons to be a collaborative author when you have a book or are writing your own book. So let's jump in today. And side note, doors are open for our first call for authors for the next book in the Dynamic Women Secret series. The book is called Leadership Secrets, so Dynamic Women Leadership Secrets. And our first call for authors is because we are looking for eight teen women who are going to jump into the book at this point. Um, we have a timeline and with this first call for authors, it closes on April 17th. So if you want to come in, there are benefits and bonuses to being in this group. We have a intro call um, right away after people come in and then our other two calls for authors will be later in the year. So if you want to be a published author within the next year, then I encourage you to click the link in the show notes to check out these opportunities. So three ways you'll get left behind by not being an author. I'm mainly speaking to people who don't have a book themselves, who have never been in a collaborative book, and also people who already have books, but they're more than six months to a year old. Okay, let's go through them. The first thing is competitive edge. You know, what I see is being an author is still very special, but it's not as special as it was even seven years, you know, as seven years ago when I wrote my first book uh, called Dynamic You, The Nine Pillars of Being a Dynamic Woman. And the reason being is there are more books being put out. It's a can be seen as a little bit easier to self-publish these days rather than having to find a publisher. And so I see in about a year or two, almost all of your competitors will have a book themselves or they'll be in one. So they're going to be able to say that they're an author. And if you don't have a book or a recent book, you're potentially going to lose out on that competitive edge. So you want to be thinking about that as part of your plan. And, you know, some people say to me, well, Diane, you have a book. And so you're good. Well, that was seven years ago. And so I did put out more books. And I've also, though, been in other people's books. So people have said, well, why would you go and be in other people's books when you can just be you know, publishing more of your own. And there's strategy in all of this. And there's a reason why I do all of these things. So you're going to want to look into being um, the next two episodes uh, in this three-part series, because I definitely go through that. Um, the reasons why I continue to be in books. So I've now put out one like solo book, three of the Dynamic Women's Secrets books. So there was, first one was Success Secrets, then Confidence Secrets, then Trailblazer Secrets. And I've also put out a journal. And so that's me doing five of my own. And then I've been in six other books that other people have put out. And I'm, I'm gonna be signing up to be part of another one. So that competitive edge is what you want over other people in the industry. And I'll talk about how that comes into play in the, the way number two. You want that expertise and bio depth. And you may be like, well, I am an expert. Or you may think, well, I'm not quite an expert at what I am doing. <laughs> That's okay. Being an author can help you become an expert and can give you bio depth, meaning more depth in your bio, more things to add. And being able to add that you're an author, a collaborative author, an author again is a benefit and can move you ahead of other people. I'll tell you. It's going to be, as I said, like almost all people are going to have one uh, in the next couple of years. And then it's going to move to a place of, well, everyone has one book or has been in one book. Therefore, you need to have more. Right. So when I get introduced to go and speak and they say 10 time best selling author, like that's that's pretty impressive. I'm not saying you need 10, but one, two, three. Uh, would be wonderful. So expertise and bio depth comes into a place where your leads, your ideal clients are looking at their options. They're weighing options. I got this person over here. I got this person here. I got this person here. You're one of three, one of two, one of 10, who knows? And if it's between you and these other people, 
they're going to start weighing the bios, weighing the expertise. And as soon as they see someone has a book that they're an author or they're an author in something uh, and other people aren't, that's one thing that can make your competitors stand out compared to you or can help them to be seen as the expert, even though you might be have more expertise than they do and will give them more bio depth than your bio. Even if you have been published, if you don't have a recent publication, then that also can put you down if someone else has like a recent um, book that's come out. And so we're going to see that kind of in LinkedIn as it's put up as a milestone, right? There's new energy around that. The third piece is obviously because your competitors, your leads are looking at all your competitors as well. The third way that you could get left behind by not being an author is you're missing out on opportunities. And you may think, well, what opportunities? Book sales? In my training that I do, um, I have a new training coming up, but in trainings I've done about being a collaborative author, uh, I talk about like 10 to 20, depends on which uh, session you've been part of, 10 to 20 ways of benefiting from being in a book or putting out your own book. And so some of the ones here that you're going to really be missing out on opportunities is things like speaking engagement. So being asked to speak because you're an author, an expert on a topic. If you're not an author, you cannot join authors groups or be brought on to podcasts about being an author or about the book that you're in. And so that's, those are kind of some of the key things, but other ways are summits, right? I get invited onto summits because of books. I get invited into um, podcasts because of books that I've been in, because they found me through that way, or they've been justified in asking me because they see um, that I have books for sale on my website. And the last piece around missing out on opportunities is around list building. Now with list building, it is multiple ways that you can be list building here. One is through um, someone like me as the publisher promoting you to my network that can help to build your list because I'm pushing people to your way. In the book, if you get to put your, your links as you do with mine, then that's another way you can list build. Plus the other authors that are in the book, you can build your list that way, as well as the author's network and who their audience is and who is buying the book. Uh, so there's so many different ways that you're missing out on opportunities by not being in a book. You really don't want to be left behind, especially because I'm sure you're doing such great work in the world that you're super passionate about what you do and that you can really help people uh, with your products, with your services. And so you want to have that competitive edge. You want to have expertise and bio depth and you want to not be missing out on opportunities, right? You don't want to get left behind by not being an author. I do provide a very simple and easy and affordable way that you can be an author. So I suggest you check out the information uh, where our, as I said, the call for authors is closing April 17th. That's 2024, depending on when you're listening. And we might have a current call for authors. So just check out the link to see if we're accepting applications at this time. There is an investment because we do have to pay for editors and our design team and our layout and all the other pieces, the promos that we do. Um, so there is a minimal, like a, a very minor investment, I would say, um, to being part of this opportunity. If you want to know more information on April 15th from 1 to 3 p.m. Pacific, we do have an amazing new training that I'm doing called Collaborative Author 101, How to Explode Your Audience, Establish Your Authority, and Leave a Legacy by Entering the World of co writing. So I encourage you to jump onto that uh, or reach out to me, Diane at DianeRolston.com if you have any questions. Until next time, stay dynamic. Bye.